Sherborne is a delightful small historic town in the northwest of Dorset. It has a total population of about 10,000 and lies on the northern slopes of the beautiful Yeo Valley, surrounded by wooded hillsides and green pastures. Dominated by its golden-coloured abbey and flanked by two castles, the town has a number of buildings of architectural note. Within the town, the narrow streets are lined with old grey stone buildings interspersed with early timber-framed, gable-ended houses and local hamstone structures. This archetypal English market town is an attractive retirement spot. Its public and state schools have national acclaim. It draws in a steady flow of visitors. But amongst this historic community, there are some areas of high deprivation with nearing 20% of all the households living in social housing. To benefit the whole community, an art centre is being planned for Sherborne. This project is as much about having somewhere to do things as a community as reaching out from the community centre building to the isolated, the excluded, the lonely, the young and the elderly. Hello, I'm Valerie Singleton and I'd like to tell you about this exciting project that's underway in Sherborne. In 2008, a study was undertaken on behalf of Dorset County Council, West Dorset District Council and Sherborne Town Council, which identified the need for a new community facility. This centre will provide an all-purpose space that local organisations can use for a broad range of activities, things like painting and drawing, photography, play and poetry readings, performances, music, dance, embroidery, all sorts of different artistic activities. A place where old and young alike can meet to follow their pursuits and interests. In 2009, Sherborne Town Council established a trust. It was called the Sherborne Community Arts Centre Trust to meet the wider needs of the population and also those deprived sections of the community that are still in need of some social support. Dorset County Council was happy to support the plan and transferred land adjacent to the town centre on which to build it. The Trust appointed architects Proctor Watts Cole Rutter of Shaftesbury and the resulting proposal, paying homage to its setting but in a contemporary manner, was soon given planning permission from West Dorset District Council. I would like to introduce you to this winning proposal for a community leisure facility in Sherborne, befitting of the town. This pedestrian gate will allow the public to walk from the town centre into the site where we see a wall. Behind this wall is an open-air performance area with natural tiered seating. Walking through this space, you see the south-facing windows that line the foyer. These can be opened up, providing an indoor-outdoor area, a place to sit and chat, a place to read and relax. Let me take you into the building. On the way you can see the footpath that runs up from the pedestrian gate past the main entrance and on into Paddock Gardens, a secluded town park. This will mean that for the first time the public will be able to walk through these lovely gardens on their way into and from the town centre. This is the way in. Here, there is a multifunctional space which can be used for a wide range of community activities. Possibly a musical recital, an exhibition or display, a reading group or mother and child activities. On the left, we enter the first studio. There will be four of these and each studio will be multi-purpose and equipped for use in such a way as to be self-contained or used in different configurations involving the other studios. This next studio is very similar to the last, but take a look at this window. It overlooks Paddock Gardens and is aligned with the Cypress Tree Avenue which is aligned to the front door of Sherborne House, just across the road. Sherborne House, 
Paddock Gardens and the Community Arts Centre form Sherborne's Arts Quarter. Here you can see some of the flexibility that has been built into this design. This partition can be pushed back, opening up the two studios to give a performance or lecture space for an audience of up to 120, with raked seating available as well. To support this area as a performance space, these doors take us through to Studio 3, which can be used as a green room. Sherborne Arts Link the Community Arts Organisation for Sherborne will relocate from their current cramped quarters into the centre. Their aim is to make arts and crafts more accessible for the people of Sherborne and the surrounding area. They also work intensively with a number of local community organisations to bring a broad range of artistic activities to those who may not normally have such an opportunity. This five-year programme is financed by the Big Lottery Fund and was awarded because it brings together all sections and ages from the community. And finally, I'd love to be able to say, here's one I made earlier, but I'm afraid I can't lay claim to that. It's been beautifully animated by the team at Blue Cube from drawings by the architect Brian Watts of Proctor Watts Coal Rutter. Hard work and the imagination of a very dedicated group of people has brought this outstanding project to the position where it's poised to become the centrepiece of a newly defined arts quarter in the very heart of Sherborne. But we do need your help. Please think what you can possibly do to make this community centre happen. The Trust has land valued at half a million pounds and local authority grants of a quarter of a million pounds. But to build a centre, the Trust needs to raise a further one and a half million. If you would like to make a difference, please find out more by contacting Richard Hickman on 07547 480040 or email him at info at s c a c t dot org dot uk or write to him at s c a c t p o box double seven double o sherborne d t nine nine d n or visit www dot s c a c t dot org dot uk